This episode is part of a series. It is all based on the chicken that I portioned out earlier in a previous episode. If you've not seen that, then I thoroughly recommend that you go and watch it. I am doing this series of videos to show minimal wastage when trying to prepare food, specifically a chicken. Once you're done watching that episode, please feel free to return here, or if you already have watched it, welcome. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with the chicken breast fillets in particular. In the previous video that you were watching, the one where we portioned out the chicken, uh, you'll notice that I wasn't particularly careful with the chicken breast fillet skins. That's because for this recipe, I won't be needing it. I'm going to be poaching this chicken. Poach chicken is a fairly old technique. Um, you can also poach other things like veggies or ducks or pretty much any kind of food stuff. And poaching is a great way of retaining moisture within the food because you are just cooking it in water. In this recipe, I'm keeping the water mixture really, really plain. So we're just doing some garlic, bay leaves and some black peppercorns. But you can absolutely make it as interesting and spiced as you want. You are going to be infusing flavours into that uh, piece of meat or piece of whatever it is that you are poaching. For this, we're keeping it really, really simple because we're using that liquid as a base for the stock, which will be coming up in another episode in the future. And there will be a link to that once it is up and running. Poaching, like I said, is a great way to retain moisture within the food and it can work a little bit to infuse flavours. Uh, chicken breast fillet, on the other hand, is notorious for getting incredibly, incredibly dry, incredibly quickly. Any of you who's had a chicken salad from a half decent but not particularly great restaurant will know that it's just like biting into cardboard at some circumstances. So poaching is a really, really good way of retaining the chicken flavour and texture without it going just horrible. What you need to do to poach the chicken is just put the chicken breast fillets in a container and fill the amount just above the line at which the chicken breasts rise up to. Put in all of your herbs and spices and stuff like that. You can do that at any point. I did it before the liquid and then you'll just cook it at a relatively low temperature comparatively under 100 degrees just to ensure that the chicken itself cooks through completely and that you are infusing flavors into that chook and vice versa you are infusing some of the chook flavors into the water as well like i said before we are using it as a base for the stock so that is fantastic uh, once you have pulled that out, uh, please go ahead and treat it the way you want. In this case, I'm going to be shredding the chicken breast fillets for use in a variety of different dishes. So you'll be seeing shots now. I've used it in pizza or on pizza. I've used it in risottos as well. You can also uh, mix it into pastas and like we were saying before, salads. Uh, because it is retaining its moisture, it has a variety of different uses where in previous cases you would have ended up with a really, really dry, horrible, um, stringy result. It's still stringy because it's chicken breast fillets and we are shredding it, but it's just a much, much nicer way of doing it. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to shred it, you can always sear it off on a cooktop or on a barbecue and still have really nice results. A modern interpretation of uh, doing this technique is actually doing a sous vide recipe. So sous vide is the French term meaning under vacuum. We're vacuum sealing a particular piece of uh, meat or fruit or vegetable or whatever it is uh, with some really delicate flavours and then popping it into a water bath like we are with the poaching so that that water is the medium in which the food cooks without the food getting wet and without the flavors kind of going off into the water. 
Sous vide is a topic I would love to lecture you all about for hours and hours and hours and maybe in the future I will do a specific episode on that because it is quite basic and it is quite batch centric so it does fit the two criteria that I look for in a video. If you would like to please feel free to comment, to like and to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I am available via my social handles which you can have a look at at the end of the video. I've got uh, little links down the bottom as well. But for now, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in another episode.